Good morning children. Welcome back after your puja holidays. I hope you had a nice time. Okay, so let's get back to studies now. So uh, today in English literature, I will just do a quick recap or revision of chapter 7, Growing Up in Agartala. Okay, I've already explained the chapter in the previous class also before the holidays. Okay, so this is a quick recap, okay, or a revision. So this story is about a gymnast okay and her name is Deepa Karmakar okay as I told you she is now 27 years old okay and she is from Tripura okay so uh, this is a book that is written on her the small wonder okay and it is written by her coach Bisweswar Nandi and sports journalist Digvijay Singh Dev and Vimal Mohan so when you grow you know and when you go to a different class maybe you can read this book the small wonder okay so here uh, this is a small passage that is taken from the book okay so here uh, we get to know that Deepa started training at the age of six years old okay so she was really dedicated and she really worked hard to achieve where she is now. She is also represented India in the Rio Olympics in 2016. Though she did not win anything, but she was she became famous. Okay, people really appreciated her after that. So I've also given you the word meanings and the spellings. I hope you've gone through. And most important, children, you have to read the chapter. Okay. Uh, so uh, Deepa started training at the age of six so she was very young okay so she did not know much about gymnastics maybe her parents just told her you know you go and join the classes so she went and joined the classes so gradually or slowly when she went and when she met her coach Soma Madam okay and then uh, when she got the challenges from Soma Madam that is when she realized that she really liked it and then she worked hard so this story also tells you that nothing is impossible okay you if you want if you show if you have dedication if you work hard you can achieve anything okay so she used to go in the evening to Biamagar after school and practice. Okay, initially, as I told you, she did not like, but she was just fascinated or she was more interested by the equipments that was there in the uh, in the auditorium or in the gymnastic center. Okay. So as I told you, she was a gymnast. A gymnast is a person who performs gymnastics. Gymnastics is a set of exercises that show the body's ability to move easily. Okay, and one warning children, please do not try this at home. Okay, we are not trained. So do not try this at home. Okay. So uh, she used to go there after school and then she used to come home and then she used to tell her elder sister Pooja about what she did there okay so she was as i told you she was more fascinated in, in, and um, interested in the equipments so one day she uh, her coach soma madam saw her eyeing or looking closely at the uneven bars and then threw me a challenge that means challenged her okay to try it and as i told you deepa was a very hard working and she was a very determined girl so if she wanted something she really worked hard to get that okay so she took it as a challenge and then she was the only one to win it so the prize that she got after winning that challenge was a piece of chewing gum so i think normally we say that a piece of chewing gum is nothing right but it was very valuable to her because that was a prize that she had earned okay so she did not immediately eat it she took it home to show it off or show off to her sister to boast you know and to tell that oh i won the prize okay so soon uh, every time soma madam threw her a challenge or gave her a challenge okay if she succeeded in the challenge she would get a piece of chewing gum and that was the biggest prize for her right so she would take it home show off and then eat it later okay and in that chewing gum there was a sticker in each chewing gum so uh, end of the day when she realizes now she had a almira or a cupboard okay so the sticker she used to stick so now also that almira is there at home with all those stickers so imagine from the age of six to 27 now she's been sticking 
for every challenge the sticker so the almira is full of stickers it is a memory for her of her uh, you know hard work her dedication her achievement now so when the father her father saw the stickers on the almira he was very angry okay and then he maybe shouted and scolded them okay puja and deepa okay but now when she looks back at that almira that is like a memory for her okay memory of her hard work dedication and all so uh, this is all that is there in the chapter okay so if you have any doubts please ask me all right uh, I, I as i told you i've given you spellings i hope you've written that spellings and word meanings okay and i told you to do this uh, uh, under comprehension i told you to do number one and two in the book so i'll give you the answers uh, tomorrow okay just look at the answers cross check and then do it in the book itself one and two you're supposed to do it in the book so if you turn your page to page number 91 okay reference to context number three four five six i will give it to you tomorrow so please write it i think i had told you that you could look for the answers also so you can refer your answers okay uh, then if you go to page number 92 you have certain equipments here can you see the equipment i want you to uh, draw this you don't have to draw the girl in it just draw the equipment okay the first one that is called rings okay second one is a high bar uh, third one is a vault and fourth one is a is, uh, they, these are called parallel bars do not worry i will uh, take a picture and then i will send it to you okay now if you look at uh, work, work with words number one and two just try to do this also okay there is some work uh, just below the pictures find out the names of the of a few famous gymnasts and what makes them famous you can just find about one or two google it okay and then you can send it to me you don't have to write a paragraph on it just one or two lines on it what makes them famous okay now today i'm going to teach you something else okay abbreviations just remember abbreviations are short forms okay now February month right you can write it as FEB Feb short form of this so this is called abbreviations or short forms okay United States you can write it as just US you will understand okay now if you turn your page okay one more okay now this is the month of November right this is the month of November so short form of this you can just write NOV okay so these are called abbreviations all right short forms so if you go to page number 93 uh, 3 and 4 circle the correct abbreviation for each of these words just try to do it in the book itself okay i'll give you the answers so you can check your answers okay so uh, this is all for today i hope you've understood the chapter if you have any doubts please ask me okay and please do not try any of the gymnastics at home I do not want any complaints okay so do reading till you understand if you have any doubts as I keep telling you please ask me because I don't get any uh, question so I am assuming that you have understood okay so I'll give you the answers tomorrow thank you and have a nice day